Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamel. Today we're going to be going over a stylistic thing that's in the schematic editor, but something that I've started to do in my more recent schematics, and I have experience in my past schematics because we've actually been looking at it. So let's take a look here. Uh, if we go into the, some of the subsheets here, you'll notice that on uh, inside inside this subsheet, I actually for both of these parts, I hooked up the power and ground on uh, in in this specific um, in this specific block, right? So this is a, a those are both quad parts. So uh, if you don't know, a quad part basically has four different versions of the same part inside of the same package, and then you know you hook up power and ground once. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to hook it up every time. And so I, as you see in channel one, I had it connected, but in here I don't want it to. You see that this is uh, version C and version D of the uh, of that of that op amp and and uh, comparator, and then this one is A and A and uh, let's see. Then this one is C and B, and I think they, it's just because of how they were uh, they they got assigned, but. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how, how to actually remove some of these pins here. So what I'm going to do is actually going to go in, I'm going to right click, uh, go to properties, edit with library editor, and this is going to actually open up the editor for this actual footprint here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, you see this is a multiple part uh, schematic symbol, right? So there's actually four versions of this. This is unit A, and then there's a pull down here, unit B, Unit C and Unit D, and I found this really confusing the first time I was going through it actually because um, I didn't actually know back when I was getting started with KiCad I didn't know where where this was and how to actually do multiple multiple versions of the same part right so and the other thing to note is that when you actually do go and pl place this so if I go and place this if I copy this and place it here it's going to say it's it's placing another B part but we can right click and then we can go to properties and then unit. And then we can actually select which one it is. So we could go and switch these around. And I actually am going to go and switch these around just to, for this uh, for this purpose here. So what I'm going to do though is go back to Unit A, right? So this is this is how I normally do it. Is Unit A? I say, okay, I want I want to show the power pins on Unit A, but I don't want to show them anywhere else. So what I do is I mouse over, hit, hit E, and now I select Sharing, Common to All Units in Symbol. Turn that off. Turn mouse over, hit E, turn that off, and you see looks like nothing changed. However, when I go to Unit B unit C and unit D. Now this matches what I'm actually talking about here. I only have pins connected on unit A. And you could choose whichever one you want to here, but it, uh, I believe this is actually a holdover from the older version. I think some of the newer versions of KiCad, the newer libraries, do this. But personally, I really prefer this method because I don't want to be hooking it up multiple times here. You'll have multiple connections to the same pins, and that could start to look weird on your, uh, on your layout. So let's go and uh, see if we can push this back into, uh, let's, let's hit save for this one. We'll see if that updates in the schematic here. That did not update. I'm going to actually, uh, so that was in the, let me just mouse over, right click, properties, library editor. I believe it should still be saved here. Let's see. This is in the rescue library, so that's good. I'll only use the rescue library. So if we go to unit B, yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll go and swap out this one for, oops. We'll swap, oh, there it is. So I didn't redraw. Uh, I was going to swap this out for the one in the rescue library. So this is the rescue library here. And now you see unit B does not have uh, the parts here. Same thing. Oh, that one's that one's still there, right? So we could go and do that one as well. But what we see here is that I actually double click to enter. Now we see that this one actually has it hooked up where this was uh, number one here is it should have had the pins. So I'm going to switch this one to unit A properties unit A. And now we actually see that connection here. We'd have to go back and whatever unit A was, we're going to switch it to D. And we'll put that in here. So double click. This one's A. We'll make this D. Mouse over, hit E. Or sorry, right click. <laughs> Keep hitting E in order to do that. Uh, okay, and there's no shortcut key for doing that. So we're going to hit D. And now we see that this is now hooked up as such. It looks like the connection here. There we go. So now it's actually connected. If you ever see a bubble like that, you, you know it actually isn't connected. So that's important to know. So like I said, some of this is just a stylistic thing, but I think it's actually really useful for when you're using quad op amps and being very, very specific about what's getting hooked up to pins, uh, power pins, and otherwise. Um, sometimes there's also hidden pins, and that's a topic for another video. I think that hidden pins are a little bit more confusing, and I usually do not use them here. 
but uh, hopefully the power and ground pins and having them just on one of the parts is useful for you and you'll be able to use this in your designs. If you have more questions about what a quad op amp is or a quad uh, comparator or other electronics types things, we'd go over this in contextualelectronics.com. The design you saw it was an, uh, a video that we made as part of Contextual Electronics. Uh, that was uh, a late input board that we designed. Uh, we do a lot more of that stuff over at contextualelectronics.com, and there's a forum there as well. If you want to talk about KiCad and this feature, you can always go to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kicad.info. And we'll have more videos about here, here about schematics and symbols and lots of other fun electronics things on Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.